welcome in to this video for day eight of the 30 days of Ho'oponopono challenge. Today's chat video is going to be on the subject of mother figures. So if you're not familiar with what Ho'oponopono is, it's essentially an ancient Hawaiian forgiveness tradition that has been modernized to provide very astonishing and miraculous and transformative healing events in, um, in the world. So this is a powerful technique and it's simply the practice of saying, I love you, I am sorry, please forgive me, and thank you to any topic with which you have a negative charge. So negative charge is anything that doesn't feel good in your body, feels restrictive, feels combative, feels angry, feels explosive, feels um, just not like a good vibration. It's a negative charge, so it doesn't, it doesn't feel good. Um, it feels heavy. It feels tense. So offering up Ho'oponopono helps to free us from the charge that we have towards this person or the situation that we are applying it to. Now, Ho'oponopono is the philosophy of taking radical responsibility for the things that you are perceiving in the outer world as a reflection of what is going on within your inner world. So let's dive deep into the subject of mother figures. So in the chat videos, I just basically talk about my own experience with applying this practice to this subject. And in the next video that I will do, we will be diving into a practice where you yourself can experience the Ho'oponopono phrases with the visualization of sending these phrases to your mom. So... One thing that I mentioned yesterday in my video for father figures is that we tend to have as children this idea that our parents, our parental units, our parental figures should embody the divine aspects of their nature. So we think our mothers should be the divine feminine, perfect in all ways, nurturing and loving and um expressive and um, able to hold a space for us and um, whatever expectations you have for your mom or what a mother, a perfect mother would be, we tend to put these on our human parents, you know, um, and then when they fall short of those expectations, which they are going to do because they are children on this planet Earth just like we are, and they are learning through making mistakes and, um, making it up as they go along and as they disappoint us or as they don't live up to those expectations we can really start taking it personally um, when most of the time it's more of a reflection of what's going on for our parents than it is a reflection of what um, our worth you know our parents are only able to love us to the extent and maybe a little bit beyond, but to the extent of which they were loved by their parents. So one of the things that I like to talk about when we're talking about parental energies is ask yourself, is this way of loving a way of loving that my mom was shown by her mom or her dad or her grandparents or her parental figures? What was, what did my uh, mother receive as an upbringing, um, in the, as a lesson in love, you know, and to recognize where your mom has done, um, better for you than, um, her mom did for her, even if it wasn't enough for you, even if it wasn't the love that you deserve from the universal divine feminine, uh, it was exactly what she was able to give. And so for me, this is a really big healing opportunity. Um, when I started learning about Ho'oponopono, one of the first places that I applied it was to my mother. I have had a lot of judgment of my mother throughout the ages, um, uh, throughout the different journeys of my experience. Um, and for the longest time, if you would have asked me, I would have said that my mom triggers me because she's a reflection of me. So I was, I was always aware that my ability to love my mother or my res resistance to loving my mother was reflecting my resistance to loving my own self. And those qualities that really 
aggravated me and hurt me and disappointed me and frustrated me and really grinded my gears about her, I, I eventually was able to see how those were things about myself that I hadn't reconciled with yet, that I hadn't been able to bring love to yet. And when I released my mom from this belief that she should be this perfection of motherhood, um, when I released her from that, our relationship grew so much more. We're so much closer than we've ever been and it really has helped me immensely to appreciate the gifts that she brings into my life and um I don't think if it if I didn't I, I think if I didn't have this practice that my relationship with my mother would still be in that space of judgment in that space of resistance in that space of um expect expectations and I'm really grateful that uh, this practice has come along and helped to uh, release me from the negative charge that I have to this beautiful human being who isn't perfect, um, but neither less deserves my love and appreciation. So I understand that all of us have different relationships with the mother figures in our lives. And I, I invite you, even if you had a toxic mother who, you know, you no longer talk to or a mother that you loved who is no longer present on this plane, um, to open your heart up to whatever is in there for you to, um, we call it cleaning, right? When we use the Ho'oponopono phrases, it's like, it's like you're like taking the energetic cord between you and another person and you're cleaning it up. And you're, you're, you're wiping off like the negative charges and you're just making space for that connection to be the clear, powerful, loving, um, unconditionally loving uh, energy that um, we want to have with all of our uh, relations. So, yeah, this is a subject that works for for wherever you are with your own mother and wherever they are, um, if we either still with us or not, this cleaning can be done. Um, I'm trying to tap in here and see if there's anything else that I have to offer up. Um, my mom is just a wonderful person. Um, she has helped me so much in my life. Um, I've been blessed with many m lovely motherly figures in my life. And um, I do feel a little bit like I've let them down <laughs> a little bit in my life. Um, but I get to work on um, apologizing for that too, right? And apologizing for not being um, all that they thought I should be or wanted me to be as well. And just kind of let that go, let that, um, let that expectation of my own perfection, um, or at least my, my mother's or the mother's in my life's, um, viewing of me, you know, like I'm overly attached to how the women in my life view me and, um, letting that go as well. And, um, just releasing them from the blame uh, of, you know, it's their fault that I feel this way and then rather understanding that it's my fault that I feel that they're, um, that they have judgments on me, most likely because I have judgments on them and it's coming up for me to see so that I can release it, I can let it go. I can allow myself to um, be honest with how much I'm expecting of them and seeing this perception of judgment and disappointment um, that they have for me as a, a reflection of my own disappointment in what I've expected from them as well. Um, but yeah, my mom has been such a beautiful light and guiding force in my life. You know, she's been there to help lead me and support me through my business and um, you know, we've really been able to have really deep conversations from a very, very early age where I was able to speak my truth with her in a way that I think I've never been able to speak with another human being. So that is really a special thing for me to, um, to honor and to hold about my relationship with my mom. 
and I'm really just grateful to be able to offer up this practice to her today um, in gratitude for all that she brings to my world and you know the love that she has offered me the life the lessons the the listening ear the um the inspiration to to do good in this world and to make a difference and to not be afraid to be powerful in how i show up in this in this beautiful unfolding that we are all experiencing together so that is my chat for mother figures i am going to end this video and go ahead and jump on one more time to offer up the practice for ho'oponoponoing our mother figures and as always namaste the universal light within me salutes and honors the universal light within you namaste <laughs>